Here's how to use better audience signals inside of your Performance Max campaign so that you're getting more ROAS. And so how do you do that? Well, all you have to do is head over to a Performance Max campaign of your choice. So we'll click this one and then we head over to the Insights tab. Once you're in here, scroll down about three quarters way down here. Good to go. Expand that to about 10 and I'll explain what these mean. So the first thing to understand is we're looking at conversions. We're not looking at clicks or anything like that. Then we can see audience segment, type, share of conversions and index. Index is quite confusing, so I'll explain what that means. So basically, audience segment, as you already know, you've set up your performance max, so these would look familiar to you. You kind of have an idea what an in-market is versus someone who's an affinity or a detailed demographic. And then the new thing that is probably unfamiliar to you is the share of conversions and index, right? So basically what this is saying is that 81.6% of people who identify in this audience segment are converting. Right, so out of all our conversions, 81% of them are coming from people who identify with this group. Now, the caveat to that is that one person can belong to multiple, you know, signals and demographics and in, in markets, etc. So that's the only caveat there, right? Now, and that's why the, uh, the index is very, very handy for this way. So basically the index tells you out of all the people that your ads reached, which is what they say is the general population, right, to confuse you even more, then 6.3% of the entire general population. So let's say all your ads is like a big pie, like out of 100. And then we've got, you know, people who belong to the dog food and supplies is a little chunk like this, like 6% or probably more than that. And that's out of all the people that, you know, we've reached with our ads, six point blah, blah, blah percent belong to this. Now, what it's saying is it's doing a bit of math and it's saying, well, if we use the size relative to the conversions, this audience and, and to the general population, this audience, people who belong in here, convert 12.9 times more than relative to the general population, right? I hope that wasn't too confusing because it is a bit of a confusing thing to explain. Now, with that said, what does that tell you and how can you use this to get better ROAS? Well, you could look at this and see, well, how can we add this as more, you know, audience signals inside of our asset groups? How can we use them in general? And Google is basically saying, don't worry, don't bother about it because we're already optimizing for it. And then you'd be like, oh, I don't have to touch anything. The issue with that is if you know Google and you know how, if you've been working with Google for a long time with Google Ads and you know, that they've always told you to trust them with broad match and all these match types and stuff. Somewhere along the line, you have got screwed over and you've spent a lot of money and it just didn't work simply because you put all your trust in Google. Now, would you trust Google in this instance or at any corner? I would not. I would add this manually as a signal if you're not targeting it right now. So if you're finding, um, you know, out of all conversions right now, this is the biggest signal of all your, you know, conversions, then I would put this in almost every asset group that you've got so that you're pointing Google in the right direction. Now, what does signal mean? Signal means you you started out this way, right? Whereas optimized simply means Google came up with this and found it on its own. Google's AI found this kind of thing. So you didn't actually give it to Google, right? So in my experience and in my opinion, I should say, I would start adding these kind of, you know, in market segments and things like that inside of some of your asset groups and create new asset groups and use these to your advantage and try to point the algorithm in the right direction. Now, you and I both know or at least by now that audience signals are just like a, a bump in the right direction. They're not a hard and fast targeting parameter. So Google's not gonna do as it's told just because you've just added as a signal, as you already know, because it's just found these ones on its own. And that's the, the good and bad thing about Pmax is it does its own thing, but that's why it does so well, right? It uses AI, right? So in that case, um, that's how you use audience insight inside of Performance Max Insights column. So if you've got any questions, more than happy to answer you. And uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next video.